Come on. There it goes. There it is. Okay, hello. Um, cool. So today, um, I shared the lessons on the website. You can see it on the right. I'm going to use a different metronome today. See if it's a little less terrible. Um, I'm just going to test it really quick. Um, so yeah, this is, this is our new metronome. A little, little less in intense comparatively. I'm going to turn my mic up. Hang on. How's that? That's a little better, I think. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go, we're going to jump in. I'm going to turn that bed off. So what we're going to start with is our same buzzing warm up. We always do. If y'all don't know the buzzing warm up, I will walk you through it as we go. Um, if you've never seen it before and you don't know, I see you're here. Um, if you just got the sheet. So here we go and we're already getting errors it must be monday and we're working all right well here we go there's our first pitch just for the free buzz please <laughs> remember um as we go through this i'm, I'm going to walk us through it every time first buzz this is just uh, g and the staff we're working on just waking up the corners to get the air going so use the hand as a monitor so you're blowing against it <laughs> A few more times, just good breath, lots of air. And even here, we can do air to buzz, right? So form the corners below the air, start pulling the lifts together. And now, so no tongue, we're going to start with the top one, and then we're going to go down the octave thinking about Starting to use that chin, the third point. When you go down, we want to try to maintain it, so like a gliss. Um, I, I was talking to someone the other day about this. We don't relax down to the lower note. We keep the embouchure working, and we actually engage more muscle. But we're thinking about blowing the air and connecting the buzz. Now we go B, A, E, and come back up. So we're going corners, chin corners. And you sort of feel the muscle shift focus. And now we'll go bottom octave. Not there. All right, the pedal. I just think about engaging the jaw for that last note. Go down, come back up. And now, remember the final part we warm up is the the incisors, right? These part right here. So we're gonna do the. Um, we'll do that thing, but thinking about starting to use these. Same thing. And today, because we have more days in a row, let's go up to the C. Yeah, and for me, the, the difference between the B and the C and the C and the D is a lot. So that's sort of will stop it. So remember, again, we're not working on buzz. We're working on getting the air going. Waking up all of this musculature. Now we'll do it on the mouthpiece. Um, same thing, just the C. <laughs> Remembering we don't use the tongue right now, it's all air attacks. <laughs> One 
more time. And remember, we're just going corners, chin, corners, chin, jaw, chin, corners. Now we'll get the incisors because um, we're in the mouthpiece. <clears throat> let's go. Let's just do an arpeggio. We'll go. To get the incisors going. <laughs> Slur the octave thing in corners, use the incisor muscle. Nice connective. There we go. There's our buzzing warm up. Uh, usually, you know, it's pretty, pretty quick, I hope. Uh, for me, at least. I just want to do a quick level check here. So I'm going to listen to the stream. Hang on. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, awesome. So let's jump into the the warm up today. We always start with that buzzing exercise, um, because I always start with that, even if it's just by myself. Also, it's Monday. Do horn maintenance. It's friendly reminder: if you have not oiled and greased your horn, today is a good day to do it. So. Um, we're going to start with the, or, oops, sorry, uh, when we know pretty well, turn that match down, here we go. Um, so remember, um, how this works is it's, uh, air attack, tongue attack, tongue attack, and there should be a measure of rest in between those. Again, I'm just trying to keep everything fitting well on two pages. Here we go. Yeah, metrum is weird. That should work. What is happening, Ableton? Hang on. We should be fine. Okay, here we go. And one, two, three. <laughs> thumb out. I want to do we're gonna do that one more time with the drone so yeah it, it is a lot of playing you said this very basic level but I want to do that one more time with the drone awesome huh, 
sorry. I was just listening back to the stream again, making sure it balances is okay. All right. Um, I'm going to set up a drone really quick using the old Ableton. Um, so I'm just going to mute you for a second. Okay, there we go. Um, so since we are using Ableton, there's going to be a bit of a click in there, but I tried to put in the measure of rest. Do it one more time with the repeat. First time only on the F horn, second time only on the B horn. If you only have a single horn, just play it both times on the single horn. Here we go uh, with measure of rep. Uh, sorry. Uh, so there you go. There we go. One, two. Three. All right, it's not gonna work. Nope. I have been thwarted. Ab Ableton is just cranking my resources. Sorry, hang on. I gotta, I gotta change that. Um, that's why the stuttering just happened. That was not you. That was me. Hang on. I'm gonna go back to the old way. Drone tool. Drone tone tool dot com. 72 beats per minute. Oh, I hate this one. All right. There we go. I just hate the sound of this metronome. Uh, here we go. Same thing. F horn. that for a second then we're going to jump into the lip slurs um again we'll do them two times um one time slurred one time tongue on each fingering i know i think it was yesterday we went through and we did all the slurred then we did them all tongued or no yesterday before i took yesterday off also sorry i forgot to announce that um i'll be doing monday to saturday i just need a day to like do me playing totally um because you know this stream is two and a half hours between making the materials processing posting doing it and then the follow-up so i just need one day it's not that and also you know throwing all the teaching and again 15 bucks an hour online just send me an email but <clears throat> yeah it, it adds up so here we go follow -up. that's a good tempo 76 let's yeah, let's go 80 let's get crazy here we go 80 beats per minute um Open first. So this is the lip slurs. First thing open. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> Then 
I did that one all tongued. One, two, tongued. <laughs> Sorry, that was weird. Come on, metronome. Come on. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Is that better? Here's the metronome. Tongues. Two, three. Second valve. This is all mezzo forte, nice and control. Second valve, tongued first. Two, tongued. <laughs> First valve slurred. First and second, one, two. Is two three. because I can't do that. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm just going to reshare this because I don't know if it was there first. Uh, and if anyone's joining us, the link for the PDF. Okay, so the drone scales. Um, a little different than we've done before. We're going to do a whole bunch of scales. Um, I just screw everything up. There we go. Uh, we'll start with F major, just because that's what we're used to. Um, yeah, we're going to play through it this way, and, and how it works, and I want to explain what's happening here. Um, so you have the new note in the sequence is always a half note, so you have more time to hear it against the drone, if that makes sense. So we have first note, D, and then you play through the notes you just had, new note is added, it's a half note to listen against the drone, um, and that keeps happening. Um, and the goal is that you, you know, for like this G, you find that G against the drone, and then when you get it in context, you're putting it where it needs to go. Um, so it's a little skill build thing, 
Yeah, it, it's not. Yeah. And, and we're going to go nice and andante. There we go. First scale uh, is C major, horn C. F. One, two, three. Sorry. Stop. Tongued. One, two, three. Uh... Uh, we're going to just go over relative minor. So we're going to do A harmonic minor. Um, one note about drones. I think right now, dr I always do a lot of drone work. Um, I'm doing more drone work right now because I'm not playing with people. So, so I think, you know, the conditions of the world we're in right now, we, we need to be doing drone work. So we, we keep working our ears in really purposeful ways. That, that's my, my quick rant on drone work. Do drone work. It's. I think it's really gonna matter. Um, hang on. I, I have a message. Oh, someone wants lessons. That's exciting. I'll solve that later. It just popped up on my screen. Okay. So yeah, A harmonic minor. Here we go. With the drone. So everything's natural. The G is sharp. <laughs> Of course, it's not an A on a piano. There we go. One. Same pattern as the other scale. One, two, three. <laughs> played an F sharp and I have that's not muted right crap all that's been so useless you've been listening to me I apologize uh, drone and metronome will be on for the next one sorry I guess I'm your drone Here I am being like oh I'm doing drone work and I don't even have it turned on sorry idiot Matt okay um, let's do something we know let's do B flat B flat concert uh, first yeah, you got
going to keep the drone going for a few seconds after, because if there's a note where you're like, ooh, that was gross, play it again and find it. For me, it was a B flat. Yeah, it was uh, ascending to a B flat. I was just sharp. Okay, so in the game, relative minor, so we're going to... That's right. D minor. D harmonic minor. So some quick notes on working on minor scales once we find this water. Yeah, so, so when you're doing your minor scales with a drone, you need to be in a harmonic minor. Um, we, we need to be so aware of the sixth, the seventh, and the octave right because you have that whole tone between your sixth and your seventh and then the semitone between the seventh and eighth and you want that leading tone and the sixth to have enough space between them so for me when we did the b flat major scale this is my thought process was my b flats ascending were high so i had to make really sure in the minor scale when i ascended the B flat was not high because if the B flat was high to make it have a good tone between the B flat and the C sharp I would have to raise the C sharp so high it would sort of ruin the function of resolution between the C sharp and the D um, and then inverse coming down I just had to make sure that the C sharp on the descent wasn't too low because then it would push the B flat even lower knowing B flat for me is a chronically high note it would have crushed it that's a really hard minor scale for me to do with the drone because of those tendencies I have in my playing um, and that's my ranty way to say you should know your tendencies when you play all right that's two scales down um, let's let's just do let's let's keep this easy let's just do G major we'll do G major and E minor so as you drum. on that one um i thought of something oh well, i made the head because i played a d on thumb three to make sure it wasn't high even though it's the fifth so it should be high since i'm doing just diatonic so that was just me shaking my head at how stupid i was um so now we're gonna go down to a minor so f's are sharps
they sat throughout that whole thing. Okay, let's keep going. Next page. Uh, we're going to do some lip service. Body. Um, I know we had done some lip service already, so we're just going to do some concentrated. Let's start at 80. Maybe? Yeah, um, and these are two different lip service. The double bar line is where it ends. Body, da, 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 la, la, la. Oh, 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 oh. Well, you do them as one, actually. We're doing them as one. Wasn't how it was planned. That's what we're going to do. So, uh, 39, 40, 41, 42. We're doing it all with the double bar line in the middle. We're going to do that like one lip slur. Because why not? One. <sighs> Send on that. Um, yeah, just just take a, a brief repose, and we'll start to see, and we'll work our way up the B horn. Um, if you don't have a B horn, do it again, but descend. Just just repeat it, or do it again, tongued. That's the deal. If you have a B horn, we're gonna go up the B horn. If you're playing on a single F, or I guess if you have a single B flat horn, um, when we're on the Fs, do them tongued. So it'll give you at least a purpose to do it twice, so it's not just doing it twice, because I said so. Right. Um, okay, here we go. So starting on this open F horn, and we're going to send through the B horn. If you're on a single F, just do it again, tongued. And <clears throat> one, two, three. <sighs> Next one, quick explaining, um, the, the gliss lines you see is literally, it's a gliss, we're just going to go, and it's going to be a really quick gliss, um, we're kind of working on a lip flip, so we just think, um, for anyone I, I've, I've taught, or I think I might have talked about it in here, uh, the idea of the vowel shift, 
that's what we're working on. We're going to be going toe, work our way toes, we land on the F and the SAF, and we're going to think ta yaw, and just that vowel shift will cover so much of the things that have to happen. So this one, yeah, horrible example. It's really just ta yaw, and remember we're we're thinking firm corners. And then trying to unfurl the upper lip by using those incisor muscles. All right, let's say a metronome. Um, feel free to throw the thumb for the top note or do it all on the open horn. Uh, it does not matter to me. Um, that might be a little quick for everybody. We'll stick it at 80. Um, ah, it's a little slow. Um, if you have a hard time getting out of the basement, so, so just because of the function of this exercise and what I'm hoping to accomplish with it in my own playing, if you have a hard time getting flexibility in that range, just join on beat three on the uh, come in there or in the G. Um, don't If the low C doesn't speak easy for you, join in the exercise as it's going on. Um, that's the hard part with big group things is we just got to play to the group. And I also need to work on my horn boy. So. With the drill. Because I'm a terrible person. There we go. And I'll slow it. Again, a thing that we're covering that's not going to be obvious on the sheets. It's hot in the studio. It's down for sight of all the sound work I've done in here to reduce it so I can practice at home. It's a little hot. Um, we're going to do the, the lip slur we just did. Body, da, da, and it's body, da, da, be, da, boo, ah, oh, ah, dee, da, wop. Um, 
four bars, four beats off, a full measure off in between. <clears throat> this is just to get us ready for the flexus intervals. Um, no drones, because we gotta go quick. Uh, starting open, and uh, one, and two, and three. <laughs> Sorry, I just completely lost where I was. We'll do call and response, actually. Yeah, we have to take call and response in. We'll do call and response. Here we go. And one, two, me. <laughs> You play and go. All right, sec second valve and one, three, two, three. And first valve. What's important about this more than anything else is that you're blowing constant air and you're not forcing it. If you're not getting any of the notes, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's better that you, you go for the process and don't get the notes than it is to go for the notes and screw up the process, if that makes sense. Here we go, first valve. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot exercise I was doing. Uh, habits, one, two, my bad. One, two, three. First and second, and one, two, three. One, two, three. You go. And finally, two, three. One, two, breathe and go. Sweet. Okay, so we've done these flexus intervals before. If we, if you haven't seen these flexus intervals before, I had to look intimidating. They're not bad. Uh, they're fourths and fifths, right? G to a C is a fourth, C to an F is a fifth, ascends a semitone, up a fifth, up a fourth. So it's fourth, fifth, semi, fifth, fourth. So it's just these are just stacked fourths and fifths, right? I'm so crazy. I can't even do theory today. I think it inverted. Ascend a fourth, ascend a fourth, up a semitone, a fifth, a fourth. Right? These are just fourths, Matt. I'm really glad that was on the internet. Everyone can see, hey, I teach theory, too. Uh, what's the G to a C? Uh, it's a fifth. No, it's an inverted. It's a fourth. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, these are just fourths. Um, yeah, they're fourths. Um, we're going to go nice and slow. I'm going to pretend that didn't just happen. Uh, 72. Body. Um, and and the, the tempo... We want a tempo that allows us to have momentum to the airspeed, but not so slow that it we, we work too hard in the air. So it's got to be a balance between being able to navigate the pitches, but it also has to be that the, the air has a natural speed to it. Remember, this is all about that like external monitor blowing air to that external point. So here we go. Uh, <clears throat> do the first one. Stop at every double bar, recalibrate. Um, Probably do each one twice. One, two, the G. You guys play. How about that? Same one. Y'all play. Okay, we're that. We'll do it twice. I'll play twice. You'll play twice. Um, I'll play two measures of rep, two beats of rest. You guys play, and we'll just always do it that way. Here we go. One, two from the A. I go first. Sorry. Y'all play.
Sorry, that screwed up. I this metronome app sucks. I might just stream from my phone. All right, I might cast metronome. Sorry, one more time. The A, I blame technology. I'll go first. Two, three. <laughs> Go for it. And now let's do it tongue, same one. Tongued. All right, next one slurred. sort of the end of the plan stuff what we're gonna do is the um, thing we did last time I'm gonna open up oh I'll never find it in here um, oh where am I gonna find that um, I know on my website <laughs> um, actually it just means it's here I want to do the the cool down from the warm-up from last time there it is um, Can I open this somehow? Hang on a second. Um, if you have the March 21 warm-up ready, pull that out. If not, give me three seconds. Right, there it is. Um, there we go. Um, I want to do 105. That's not going to be on your screen well. Here we go. So um, we're going to do 105 one time. Bop, beep, bop, 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 beep, bop, bop. Um, a little quicker we're gonna go at 80 finish with some scale work um, with the drone we're gonna do 105 to 110 or 105 all the way to 115 all of, ooh, all of that um, then we'll take it off we'll do 117 and we're done with the drone from before we're gonna just do the low G as soft as we can Now we'll do the chromatic scale, nice and easy. And 
and we reach the end. Um, so, so why we're going to end here, um, you may be thinking, hey, I'm not tired. Um, I'm not either. That's also good. You don't need to be wiped after a morning session. Um, go grab a Lyrical Etude, a Conconi, Bordoni, you know, any of the Italians. But yeah, just something lyrical or something lyrical you're working on that's comfortable in your range, and I want you to play it. Um, I'm going to do mine on stream because I feel obligated to. <laughs> so I'm just going to play through uh, my favorite. Just can code number one. I think you guys can see that. And if you don't have something to play, play this thing. Uh, this thing is beautiful. Um, so here we go to end our day. Um, nice, easy, lyrical, musical playing. Um, or you could improvise or something, right? So here's the wrap up. <laughs> Bob Rossi ending. Thanks. Um, yeah, I'll see everyone tomorrow, same time. See ya.